I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about spam. We all get it in various shapes or forms, but basically it's when a bot, a computer program, maliciously fills in your website forms, diluting your genuine inquiries. We've used various methods over the years to be able to try and get around bots and spam. Uh, methods include uh, honeypot methods, where you have empty form fields, and if those forms are filled in, then uh, there is obviously a bot which is filling those things in, all the way through to Google's recapture version 2. Now, although the recapture version 2 worked well, it was very obtrusive to a user's journey, adding in, sometimes, longer than it takes to actually fill in the form field to pass validation by selecting the correct images that it asks you to do so. We've been following, however, the Google Recapture version 3 project, which was launched in October 2018. What makes this different to version 2 is that it actually cares about how form data has been entered, not what. At a very simple example, if somebody was to come onto a form and fill it out in a second, then it's pretty straightforward to say that that is not going to be a human being that's filled that form out. Google creates this persona, if you will, and returns this when you press submit to Google to return you a score. Based upon the value of this score, it can either pass or fail validation. We're pleased to say today that we're going to be actively putting this out there for all of our Maddox clients to be able to make the most of Google Recapture version 3. You can control the error message, the passing score, and various other settings so that you have complete control over what does and doesn't get through your forms. The best thing about this Recapture version 3 is it is non-obtrusive to a user's journey filling out their web forms. We've attached this handy infographic which shows you, in a nutshell, how this works. And if you'd like this to be put on your website, please get in touch and we can book these things in now. Thank you.